greater tubercle. Um, I'm also for, okay. for the axis. Uh, for the distal arm, we're going to be using the lateral epicondyle. And for the proximal arm, we're going to be using the midline of the body. Uh, the, the, the ribs, or the thoracic, okay. <laughs> the thoracic, <laughs> okay. Alrighty. Hey Danny. Uh, so today we're going to be going ahead and taking goniometric measurements. Um, before we get started, can I please ask you to take your shirt off for me? Alright, and then we're going to go ahead and if I can just you go ahead and lie on your stomach, head this way, feet that way. And thank you for turning your head away from me. That's uh, what I was going to go ahead and ask you to do. No, you're fine. You're fine. I'm going to go ahead and remove this towel from you. All right. Is it okay if I touch your arm? Hmm? Yes. Okay. All right. I'm actually going to move this pillow over just a little bit. If I can actually reach your head just a little bit for me. Thank you very much. All right. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and raise your arm up. I'm going to guide you through this motion, okay? What I want you to do, I want you to bend your elbow. It's about right there. Okay. All right, so that's all you got. So, for the motion that I want you to do, I want you to go up as far as you can, like so, while keeping your hand on your hip. Can you do that for me? All right, so give me a moment. All right. point, midline. All right. If I can actually go ahead and do that action for me, please. As high as you can. And relax. I got roughly about 19 degrees. Let's do that again. Look at your uh, proximal arm. See if it's in the midline of the forest. Okay. All right. If I can ask you to do that once more for me, please. And relax. <coughs> Way better. Uh, I got 25 degrees. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, this pencil, right? I can go ahead and cross out and, and rewrite it in, <laughs> in another color if you'd like. <laughs> okay. Okay, you can see the landmarks on the skeleton, right shoulder, medial rotation. Medial rotation. Um, so for the axis, we're going to start off with the electronome process. Um, the uh, proximal arm, I'm going to go ahead and choose making it perpendicular to the ceiling. And for the distal arm, I'm going to use the ulnar styloid process. All right. So, Danny, if I could ask you to go ahead and lie on your back for me. All right. Oh, I'm just going to scoot all the way on over here, do you? So, first things first, I'm going to go ahead and roll this up for you. I'm just going to guide your arm through the motion. Like so. And we'll just take this pillow. I'm just going to slide it just a little bit. Thank you. How's that? I think I'm actually going to go ahead and lift your arm and I'm going to give it one more fold. Actually, if I'm just going to go ahead and rest your arm for me. I'm just going to rest, go ahead and relax your arm for me. And we're going to go ahead and rest it. All right. So, I'm going to go ahead. I want you to just hold that position for me right quick. Look, non styloid. I'm just going to guide you through this motion. Show you about what I want you to do. Is that about all you got? Alrighty. Alright. So I want you to hold your arm right there. 
and I want you to go ahead and do that motion for me, please. And relax. I got 35 degrees. You can go ahead and relax for me, please. Five. Um. Beautiful. I can read that carving. Um, right side, zero to three five. Yeah. Um, thank you. Put the goniometer up and then you're going to do a muscle slope. Okay. Uh, for right shoulder abductors. Shoulder abductors? Alrighty. Right shoulder abductors. So, let's see how I just said. If I can actually go ahead and actually um, sit right here for me, knees facing me right here. Alright. So, what I'm going to do, if I can go ahead and touch your arm. I'm just going to go ahead and take your arm and just bring it by your side. Can you scoot a little bit closer to the edge of the table for me? Thank you. All right. I'm just going to go ahead. I'm just going to go ahead and guide you through the motion that I want you to do. Okay. Well, either way, let's go with that. Yeah. Just guide me. Let me go ahead and laterally rotate that arm. Um, okay. Uh, if I can ask you to go ahead, just relax for me. Just relax for me. Let me just guide your arm through the motion. Yeah, I know, that's why I was trying to hold it, but... Okay. Um... Danny, are you holding your arm there? You don't have any range of motion limitation. So let him move your arm. All right, so I'm just going to guide your arm, okay? Perfect. All right. Now, I want you to go ahead and do that action for me, please, as best you can. Okay. All right, so we're going to go ahead and uh, choose a different position. If I can ask you to go ahead and lie on your back for me. I've got this pillow for you right here. Um, actually. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and laterally rotate your arm. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to support the weight of your arm, okay? Mm -hmm. What I want you to do is I want you to go ahead and try to raise your arm over here by the side of your head, like so. Mm -hmm. And then to make sure the pillow doesn't get in the way, I'm actually just going to go ahead and slide this over. All right. And go ahead and try to do that motion for me. Very good. So she's a two out of five. Can you show me on muscle man where the palpate plate? Uh, for shoulder abduction, uh, you could you could palpate scapular subscapulars, but it's deep to the trap. So ideally, uh, palpate what? You you could palpate uh, the supraspinatus. Yeah, um, supraspinatus is right here. Show me on the right side since we have all the muscles. It's it'll be lying deep to the trapezius. Any way you could put some slack on the upper trapezius? Uh, if you go ahead and have them look over their left shoulder, if you're palpating for right, um, but the easier one would be to palpate for the middle deltoid. Middle deltoid would be these fibers right here. Okay. Once you get her to contract that concentrically and eccentrically. Okay. All right. So, Danny, if I can ask you to go ahead and sit up again for me. Short sitting right over here. Le legs hanging off. All right. So I'm going to do, I'm going to take your arm, I want you to just relax, and I want you to try your best to lift your arm over there by your, the side of your head like we practiced before. Very good. And now I'm going to go ahead and lightly rotate your arm, I'm going to take your arm about right here, and now I want you to hold it, okay? Hold, 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 
You're too weak to hold it up, Dan. Hold. Very good. Very right. good. Why don't you flip your finger over and write your initial muscle being good. Okay. Well, it doesn't work. Shoulder abductor. Right. Found a black pen. Let's do a muscle test of her right rhomboids. Right rhomboids? All right. All right, Danny. Um, so now what we're going to do, if I can ask you to go ahead and lie on your stomach for me. Now this position is going to be a little weird. Um, it's going to almost feel like you're making a chicken wing. I'm gonna just going to bend your elbow like so. I'm just going to raise your arm like that. All right. Now the movement that I'm looking for, I want you to try to raise your arm like so, but try to make it to where the palm of your hand is higher than your elbow, okay? All right, so if you can go ahead and do that action for me. Very good. All right, now I'm gonna have you do that action. I want you to stop out right there. I'm gonna go ahead and apply moderate resistance. What do you want her to do? I'm gonna apply moderate resistance and I want you to hold, okay? All right, I'm just gonna put you back in that motion. I'm gonna go ahead and apply minimal resistance. Minimal resistance, can you hold? All right. She's a three. So for rhomboids, uh, that is a deep muscle to the trapezius. Uh, you would want to palpate the rhomboids right here. So it would be roughly around this area deep to the trapezius. Okay. All right, Danny, and actually, if I can ask you to go ahead and get back into that position, lying on your stomach for me. Sorry about that. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just put your arm behind your back. All right. And then I'm going to find the vertebral border of the scapula. And I want you to go ahead and do your best to try to perform that action. Very good. And relax. And I know we said in class, about the would, would you like for me to practice? Okay. All right, so this might be a little hard, but I want you to I'm gonna hold your arm like so. All right, now I want you to try your best to try to hold this position, okay? Hold, 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 hold. Very good. All right. You can put your original muscle right there. Okay. 